What is going on YouTube? Hey, Mac making another brand new crypto TV episode. In today's video, we are going to be looking at XRP, Ethereum, Bitcoin, Binance, as well as the S&P 500. As you guys know, I like to do a different cryptocurrency here on the channel every single week with your guys' help. So definitely make sure to comment your favorite or most interesting cryptocurrency in the comment section down below. I will be picking one of these to be reviewing in next week's videos. More importantly, what we're going to be looking at in today's episode is obviously the way these markets have been trading at which is absolutely ridiculous at this point. Uh, yesterday, not only did we make a video, but we did one of our live streams with a special guest and a friend of mine, which was, uh, his name was Brady. And we actually talked a little bit more in depth about this market. And really we discussed in depth, where exactly are we gonna close? We had a bottom support, 30K was the level for Bitcoin. And as most of you know, yesterday, we wicked below it and closed above it again. Of course we did. So that obviously leaves a few things to now discuss moving forward in cryptocurrency. The fact that we didn't close below the 30k support level, that mental barrier, and we're actually trading back above it again, is a few more things to discuss. Pain in the butt, I understand, but it is something we have to go over. Otherwise, today's video is sponsored by Bitscap. For those that don't know what Bitscap is, definitely make sure to watch the video till the end. We will be talking about them at the end of today's episode. Basically, it's a way, since as you guys know, I've been looking for other exchanges to kind of test out in this bear market and what we've noticed is Bitscap actually is a way to funnel all your exchanges into one website and allow you to simultaneously and se uh, seamlessly flap, uh, flip back and forth uh, exchange to exchange which is really cool so it's a new concept check it out at the end of today's episode uh, make sure to subscribe turn on post notifications smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm and let's jump into today's episode Yeah, guys, so yesterday was our first live stream that we've done in a long time, um, really, with uh, with the special guest. So it was really cool to make that. I, I hope to do more of these. If you guys liked this episode, definitely make sure to leave a comment down below so I know you would like to see more. Um, but more importantly, today's video, yeah, markets are back up. Can you believe it? Top 10 cryptocurrencies were up about 7% today which we were expecting to see some big, you know, you know, injection of volume back into this market because prices are, once again, they were retesting that bottom support. And we discussed if we closed above there, we'd probably see a slight potential to swing back up. And if we closed below, we'd see a big dump in the red all the way to the downside. But, you know, looking at things now, we're doing very well. Bitcoin up six, Ethereum eight, Binance Coin nine, Cardano 11, XRP six, Doge 13. So these were all really good trades to be making yesterday if you were patient and watched the videos and got ready to buy in. So as you guys can see, the uh, the cryptocurrencies right here. So we did slightly tweak these charts ever so slightly. Some I didn't even move, others I did. But you can see for the most part where we've pretty much found bottoms on these cryptos. Like for example, Binance Coin. This is a very easy cryptocurrency to trade as of yesterday and it was very profitable for me and hopefully some of you guys as well. It was very simple it's a very easy trade we discussed numerous times that there was a bottom that we discussed uh, a support level that needed to be retested very soon and the prices were slowly coming down lower and lower and lower and we actually retested that bottom support we discussed in specific if we were to close below here and we close the daily charts closer to 250 for Binance we would buy in and short it to the downside. We always wait for the candle to close to give us that direction that the coin wants to move to. But what did we do? We wicked right back up, closed yesterday's candle above support, which was a small buy-in opportunity. So if you guys bought in for that coin and ran it up, you'd buy in at 260 and you're currently at 287 and there's a chance we could go as high as 296. So that was a good buying opportunity. Very small, short term, more of a moderate style trade. As we did discuss that this is a very key and easy way to buy in for cryptos. Just wait to see how this candle closes yesterday for us to decide which way this candle is gonna move the uh, when it opens the next one. So it was very simple, it's very easy. This was applied to all these cryptocurrencies. It wasn't just Binance coin that you could have made money on. We discussed if we closed below here, we'd buy in for a short. If we closed above here, like we did, wicked above, closed that daily candle above support, we knew we'd buy in for a long and swing it back up. Short term, only short term. Long term, I'm still very bearish and we haven't shown 
any signs yet of being able to break through these bearish resistances to swing us back to the upside. So I still am bearish because short term, yeah, this was a small opportunity to capitalize off a run. But we have yet to, you know, see the consolidation. We have yet to break bullish and, you know, close a daily candle or, or, or new trend above prior resistances and prior lows. So I'm still bearish on these cryptocurrencies long term. You can see we're still creating these lower high formations, funneling us into here. What we're waiting for now is to breach this top resistance and then allow us to move up higher. And if we were able to close above these resistances and create a newer high, that would be pretty much signaling a bottom, which could be here and referencing us to break bullish. But until we do that, there's still a lot of possibilities that if we close again, because now we're going to have to retest this soon, and we close below 260, it's going to reference another break to the downside, which is still a huge possibility on these coins as this descending triangle is forming. Now, for XRP and these other cryptocurrencies, it is the same exact thing. Yesterday was a hint of a double bottom. We've made this very, 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 very much so mention the fact that there could be this double bottom formation where prices do, however, bounce like this and head back to about a dollar in price. And it's very easy and it's very obvious that we could be doing so. Obviously there are some resistances closer to this level right here, 87 cents before we decide to break bullish. But right now, as we discussed, we have closed above support. We didn't break below it, we wicked below it, but we didn't break below it and we've actually closed support above here. So there's a chance now, depending on how this market wants to play out, granted we just retested oversold, there's a chance the next couple of days we're going to see candles wick back up and probably come back up to what could be 88 cents. Let's see how it plays out, potentially on XRP. Uh, definitely a more moderate to aggressive trade on XRP if you bought in right now. And I still feel like there's time if you wanted to buy in and leverage this to the upside, granted, as you guys see, Binance still has a resistance. It's yet to break. Bitcoin still has a downtrend. It's yet to break. Did not mean to do that. So if you bought into XRP, just be mindful. It may get rejected very soon given Bitcoin and Binance coins. So it's a possibility to trade it. It's for sure um, still an option even for Ethereum right here, which also had a double bottom formation. And as you can see, it closed above support and it's starting to reverse back up. Prices were 1784, it's currently at 1900. So there's a chance this could swing up, retesting its moving average closer to 2250 and then eventually maybe up to $3,000. If things wanna play out bullish, we could form this double bottom right here and swing back to the upside. Very big possibility. My main focus, and as we discussed in yesterday's live stream, is on Bitcoin, because this is really the factor that's gonna decide where exactly this market's gonna go. As you guys know, there is a downtrend here, right here. Honestly, uh, Bitcoin or Binance coin are, are good references. Bitcoin, Binance coin still has a downtrend. Bitcoin still has a downtrend. These are yet to be broken, and these could easily hit resistance and break bearish. It's a very big possibility. We have a descending fractal that's forming here. Yes, we decided to level out here, and we actually, this is the first time in a very, long time where we actually closed a, a daily, you know, a, a candle, not a wick, but a candle at $30,000. That's big. But understand there's not much more room this coin can move up to, to 32. That's about it. You can still see it's still creating lower highs. So there's no reason to, you know, get super excited just yet because we can still come back and trade inside here. Understand that these are still lower highs and lower lows forming. So what we're waiting for now is maybe for us to retest 32 and then correct lower. That's what we're looking for. We're still not out of the bear market yet. We're still not entering a bull market. What we need for Bitcoin to do is obviously if it decides to get some support and we break above that resistance and we close above this downtrend, close to like $34,000, that would then reference potentially bulls are coming back and we could see that break reversal swinging us back up to 40K. But I'm not touching it until we get a clear confirmation above that resistance level. And the same thing applies to Bitcoin to short it. If we close finally a daily below 30K, then we can buy in and short it to the downside. We didn't do it. We closed above 30K yesterday and that was a reason of, you know, to not buy in just yet. Obviously you could have, you know, with some most of these cryptocurrencies seeing it close above 30K or above these supports on Bitcoin, you could have bought in for a more moderate to aggressive trade, swinging it back to the upside with Ethereum, with XRP, with Binance, um, all of those deemed a very small short-term trade to the upside, but we have yet to see 
uh, a breach above resistances or supports. So it's really just a waiting game. Otherwise, I do want to talk about BitScap. I want to give a huge shout out to BitScap for sponsoring today's episode. So guys, if you're looking to trade digital currencies from the comfort of your home, you'll need to ensure that you're using a platform that comes jam-packed with tools, insights, and of course, competitive fees and commissions. With that said, seasoned traders will often make use of several exchanges to access specific markets and pairs, which we've all done. Moving from exchange to exchange, however, can be both cumbersome and time consuming, as we've all explained, and that's why we've been looking for all these other different types of exchanges here uh, on the channel to basically find the best one or ones to use to help guide our you know, path through the crypto space. So with that in mind, BitScap makes it possible for you to connect all your exchanges in one place. This comes with a plethora of plus points, such as being able to deploy advanced bots to trade simultaneously across multiple platforms. And as such, BitScap has evolved to accommodate the many needs and expectations of cryptocurrency traders. In this BitScap review, we're gonna explore everything there is to know about the cross exchange services offered by the provider. BitScap is advertised as a new way to trade across multiple exchanges by finding the best rates and effectively managing your portfolio. The platform allows you to bring all the elements under one roof, providing access from a single account at the click of a button. It has carefully designed features that will enable you to quickly compare rates from heaps of digital currency markets, trade and instantly switch between different exchanges, keep track of your investments, basic and advanced order types, strategies, you know, via the demo account uh, facility without actually risking any capital. So currently, BitScap is integrated with 30 exchanges, including Binance, Kraken, Bitfinex, and much more. And traders have access to 10,000 plus cryptocurrency trading pairs and several technical indicators available to formulate your strategies. The platform also offers an optimized and intuitive interface for both beginners and seasoned traders. So the BitScap trading bot, which we need to talk about, is a unique feature that lets you make the most of the highly volatile cryptocurrency marketplace. Uh, the bot ensures that your investment Investments are distributed proportionally within your chosen range so you can make small but frequent profits on every market move. And once the price hits the desired range, orders are executed and new ones are placed. So firstly, the classic bot uses the same amount of the base currency equivalent in each grid. This means that each level it buys and sells the same quantity of the base currency. The S-Bot strategy buys and sells different amounts of the base currency at each grid level. However, it ensures equal investment distribution as well. And in order to be able to use the trading bot service, you'll need to have a minimum amount of funds available. This amount is determined by the minimum order size of the selected pair in the respective exchange and the number of orders placed by the bot. So once you have connected your exchange API to the BitScap trading bot, you can choose the bot to work on the trading strategy of your preference. BitScap has already set up several predefined strategies proven through back testing. So if you want to test out your new strategy or make sure that everything runs smoothly, the back test feature can demonstrate how the bot, you know, would respond to market changes. They also offer a demo account. The preloaded BitScap demo facility comes preloaded with simulated paper money and will allow you to trade with zero financial risk. So the free plan is in fact a trial plan uh, available for usage for 14 days. All standard features are included in this plan along with a thousand dollars monthly trading limit. I highly recommend that you take advantage of this free trial to understand how the platform works before you actually opt for a paid version that they offer. The registration process can be completed by entering your email ID and setting up your password. You'll only be required to confirm your email ID to finish the setup. Additionally, you can also connect your account to Google or Facebook and gain access through the login credentials accounts and the respective platform for technically adapt uh, trading services. And if you're looking for the combination of, you know, advanced trading tools, technical indicators and ease of use, then BitScap is definitely worth considering. All in all, you have very little risk by trying the platform out via its 14 day trial. Otherwise, huge shout out to BitScap for sponsoring today's video. If you're interested in checking out this exchange, I have linked them in the description down below, but definitely make sure to smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm, subscribe and comment and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace.